What is up guys, welcome to another video. So today, we're just going to be talking about the Gerber Strong Arm. Now, it was the first fixed blade I ever got in my collection. Um, this knife isn't going to be an EDC fixed blade, it's going to be more of a urban survival knife as they call it. But I, per like, I personally like to think of it as just a beater. Now if you don't know what this knife is, um, it's going to have Gerber's amazing 420 high carbon um, steel. It's going to have a rubberized diamond textured um, handle on it. It's going to have a glass breaking pommel. Um, it's going to have its unique sheath that a lot of knives, um, I think this is the only Gerber that has this sheath. It's going to have a built-in section into the knife for the actual sheath part which I which stood out to me as just outstanding um it's super grippy it's super like utilitarian it is a great knife for beating down on stuff it is a really really good knife um if you're into hunting camping survival stuff um any type of um, outdoors activities, I would highly suggest that you have a Gerber Strong Arm in your collection. This is going to have a black Cerakote coating over the blade, which is actually really well done. So this knife is coming under the camping survival and everyday type of section. So you could use this as an everyday knife, uh, especially because of this uh, sheath. I'll chuck the knife in there so you can see with this sheath because as you can see it is really slim it's got a really basic design to it except for on the back so this uh, leg strap can come completely off and you can just use it as a molly compatible or a belt um, scout carry type um, carry if you want or you could have it drop down your leg but I usually take um, this, this leg dangly thing off because it does annoy me a lot so the sheath I adore it is a great design it stood out to me immediately when I saw it in uh, the shop so if you're not sure how it works there's a little bit of a groove in here which fits perfectly into that and as this slides in it clicks in perfectly so yeah it is a really great design and I think it's probably one of my best fixed blades in my collection other than my SE Azula. Which as you can see here is my uh, everyday fixed carry blade. I have done a review on it which is going to be up at the corner. And it is a great EDC fixed blade. We're going to be talking about outdoor type survival fixed blades. Which of course... If you were stuck, let's say, out in the woods or something, you went hiking, you got lost, and you have to spend a few days um, out in the woods trying to survive, this is 100% the knife I would want in my survival pack because of just how well it's built. It is a full tank construction, so if you're not sure what that means, the blade goes straight through the handle, and as you can see, that is a part of the pommel. Um, it is a great knife. If you are looking for a great knife, this is 100% the knife that you should have in your collection. And if you're more for something that's a little smaller, something that's more of an EDC fixed blade, I would say go with the Essie Zola or any type of the Essie line in their small size knives because they are outstanding. So as you can see here, the knife does have a, um, it's probably, I would say it's more of a quarter serration on it because the blade does go a fair way so I'm gonna say that's about a quarter serrations on it which is Gerber serrations are always done really well but you can get it in just a fine blade a fine edge so now if you're not a hundred percent sure about if you want to go serrations or fine edge I would say go the fine edge because you can sharpen it a lot easier but serrations do last a lot longer so they do have their pros and cons, as in when serrations do go dull or you break a serration, you have to go through a really long process of refiling them and trying to get them back to that pointed tip. 
but with a fine edge it's a lot easier to sharp you just have to get that um you just have to get the burrs and everything you just do your normal sharpening routine and then get it back to that edge which mine is okay sharp i have used it to cut wood and i haven't sharpened it since then so that's probably why it would have a few probably burrs on it and it wouldn't have a very good edge on it but I am going to have to sit down and give it a really good sharpen. Now, I do have a problem with the 420HC. That is also on the Gerber LMF2. I do have an issue with it. It is that it is extremely difficult to sharpen. Because it's, I find it's like sharpening a piece of ceramic. That's what it feels like. It's a very like tough, heavy type steel, which it does take forever to go dull so if you're worried about this dulling out in the woods you got no issues with that but when it does go dull it is really difficult to sharpen by hand so make sure you do have a lot of time to sharpen it but other than that it is an outstanding knife it has treated me really well i've had no issues with it and if you guys have any questions leave it down below today's just gonna be a quick video because i've got a lot going on i've got work i've got um i'm trying to set up my little studio i'm trying to get everything kind of to a state where i want it i'm still trying to figure out the lighting um which i'm also going to be talking about in a video and i'm going to be talking about the new camera that i have in a video how i have everything set up and I'm just going to be going through everything of how I'm going to be starting this channel kind of more towards a professional stage in the future. So if you guys have any questions on the knife, leave them down below. I'll answer them. So thanks for coming guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one.